Hi guys, it is Lucid Leila. Thank you so much for tuning in into our new video about meditation among highly successful people. And um, this was taken out, or this piece of information, I got it from Tim Ferriss, who interviewed a bunch of billionaires, about 200 of them, and summarized it in his book, The Tools of the Titans. And he looked for patterns, like what do these people do that makes them highly successful and although there was always when there was a pattern he definitely acknowledged that there was always someone who did something different but the majority of all those people interestingly they all reported that they had some kind of meditation practice now it doesn't matter what kind of meditation you do if it be if it be like a kundalini meditation or you know a sitting meditation or tai chi or a mantra meditation um, some people like to just listen to the same song over and over again on repeat but um, essentially the fact that they give themselves a certain time of the day just dedicated to mindfulness awareness and calming down your mind that's what they attributed a lot of success um, to, especially very successful hedge fund managers who manage, you know, billions and billions of dollars in their funds. They actually gave, you know, all the credit to the meditation that they practice. So that is something very, very interesting for me. You would think that, oh, well, just sitting down and doing nothing, it's not, not going to help you. It's going to be subtracting from your important time of the day. And yet, one of the most successful people in the world, they all have this thing in common where they do it and they see it as an addition. And it kind of makes sense if you think about it. If you're going 100%, you know, throughout the whole day and you're working so hard, your brain is constantly, you know, thinking, if you don't give it a break to slow down and to rest, you're not going to be able to make good decisions because your brain is going to be burned out. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they unwind after work just by watching TV or just getting this kind of distraction and it's not good. They actually recommend that once you wake up, you do something that's, you know, creative. So because when you wake up, that's for most of the people, it's going to be the most creative time. You know, don't just check your emails and listen to someone else's agenda. Checking your emails will put your mind onto, oh, I have to do this for that person, this for that person, and it completely takes you out of that creative zone. So create those rituals in your life that make you creative, efficient, and productive, and happy, you know, by being less reactive, by designing a day that works for you, which is, for example, waking up and taking a walk, or waking up and meditating, or waking up and, you know, playing with your kids, that is a thing that all those successful people have in common. And in addition to that, once you go to bed, you know, don't waste your time with, you know, social media crap that you're not even interested in. And don't let other people put their agenda into your brain. Put it onto something that really fulfills you, something creative. Maybe, um, you know, journaling is a very good technique that a lot of really successful people, including Hemingway, used to do. And end the day like that, you know, contemplating about, you know, the day, being grateful for things. Maybe you have a gratitude journal that you can use. Those are things that are going to put you in that productive, creative mindset. And they're going to give you flow throughout the day. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to put you in such a different state. I've tried it for myself and it really makes a difference. Yeah. That's basically that for meditation and designing your day to be successful and, you know, providing solutions, creative solutions for your problems. And I guarantee you, once you give it a try, maybe just 10 days, you know, med maybe meditate just 5 to 10 minutes a day. Just try to rest your brain and calm down your mind. It will definitely make a significant difference. And I know that because I have been on a break. You know, just recently and I just got back to it and I feel like 100 times better. So I encourage you all to try it. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment what you think about this video. And I'll see you next week. Bye.